Hello students. So now we are going to see an important point regarding the area. Usually we consider that the area is a scalar quantity. Suppose if you say what is the area of the circle, you say that the area of the circle is pi r square and you don't say it's a vector quantity. But now that's what we have written here. Whenever you are going to discuss area in the case of three dimensional system, we treat them as vector quantities. Let me now draw the Cartesian system and then show the differential elements. And then the product will give you the area. So that is what we say that the area, but this being the differential area, by that we mean to say that it's a very small area. So we can write down that this is dy multiplied by dz. But however, where from we bring a vector quantity is that you are now asking the question, what is the unit normal to this element? Then there is a unit normal. That means what is the perpendicular direction to this? So that would be the x direction. You can see that y and z is the plane. Uh, which direction is perpendicular to y and z means only x direction is perpendicular. And therefore, you have to attach a unit vector in the x direction. It will be like this. And because of this reason, this will become a vector quantity. Let us consider in the case of xy plane. So we can draw like this. Surface area being a vector quantity will be equal to dx into dy. So we can write like this. This is dx multiplied by dy. And in which direction is perpendicular, you can see that this is the direction which is perpendicular. I want to show a unit vector in the vertical direction. Okay, hopefully you can see that that's a vertical direction is there. So that will be the z direction. So we can write down that this product dx into dy will be having a unit vector in the direction of z. Therefore, we'll write a z unit vector. In the case of uh, x z plane, so let me draw that. You can draw a parallel to the x-axis. And then the unit vector will be ay because that is the unit normal. We say that the y direction is normal to the plane. So if you are going to represent a shade like this, if this is the surface that you have, then anything that you are going to take it in the y direction would be the unit vector. We say ay. That is the normal to the surface. So the concept is fairly simple. So volume element is equal to you first anything. It doesn't matter which one you choose here. There are three of them are there out of the three. You choose any one. Suppose if you are going to choose this first one, then you write down this dy dz. So you write down the dy. Then you write down the dz. Then whichever is missing from these two only out write down. So dy is already there. So no need to write. Then if you see dx, dx is not there here. Therefore, I can write a dx here. Then you come to the last one, dx dz. dx is already there here. And this particular uh, z is also there here. So all the things are already taken into consideration. And therefore, this product will be equal to the volume element. We can say dv. Sometimes uh, some people will also use d omega just for information I'll give. It doesn't matter what symbol you use. Capital V will be more comfortable. Some people will use omega, capital omega for the volume. And this is a scalar quantity. You don't have to attach any vector for that because this being a volume element, you don't have a single unit normal to that. Okay. Unit normal will come only for surface. There is no unit normal for the volume. So therefore, the volume element will be a scalar quantity. When you say uh, a unit normal, we say the increase in direction. Now you can ask the question why? Well, there is also the other side that is also perpendicular to that, right? So I'll show in a dotted line here. Um, then why not? This is also, do you think that the white color dots dotted line, it is also perpendicular to the surface dx and dz. That's also perpendicular. What is wrong? So then why, why don't you say that is ay is in that case, this has to be written as minus ay. So because of the plus minus only, I am explaining all these points. We agree that that is also unit vector. Yes, this is a unit vector. That is why I am putting a tick here. But however, note that there is a minus attached here. Okay. So similarly, when you draw this particular thing, this yellow color one dy, you, you can always draw the downward 
this downward arrow is also a unit vector no doubt about that but however the unit vector is minus az so the minus is attached here because the the direction of z is here it is going in the upward direction here this is the arrow now that shows in the upward direction and therefore this arrow will be in the downward direction and therefore you have to attach a minus sign here so this point is very important if you if you are not careful about these points you will be missing with a plus minus will be wrong in your calculation and therefore the whole thing will go wrong okay so that's important so you have to be very careful on the directions when you are choosing and therefore you have to attach a minus sign appropriately if it is opposite direction so that's uh, that's the basic thing for the case of the cartesian system and now we are ready to move on to the cylindrical system and our calculation is going to be identically same everything we have to do in a very similar way and let us see and uh, how to do it first of all i will show you or uh, first of all i will draw the cylindrical coordinate system and then i'll explain 